They're both now getting refilled with the Holy Ghost all over again. God said, for what I'm about to take you to in this new year, you're going to need an extra feeling and a more shining and a more fear of the Holy Ghost. He said, go find it. He said, go ahead and let me feel you. I'm
his power. The Lord is moving by his anointing on today. Let God do it. Somebody came here this morning with a yoke on me. God is destroying yoke this morning. God is removing uncertainty this morning. Oh, Jesus. 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 Oh, Jesus.
He's coming to you. Come on and worship. Come on and worship. Oh, come on and worship. You begin to tell him what you want him to know. Begin to worship him. Worship the King of Kings. Worship the Lord of Lords. things for you in 2019 because you're going through some things 
in this year and even the previous years that have rocked your mind. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Have wounded your emotions. Hallelujah. Emotionally, hallelujah. And even in your well-being, there were some things that you went through and you, you said within yourself, I don't know if I'm ever going to get over this, but you get ready to get over some big things. Hallelujah. The hand of God is about to move mightily in your life. But God says, He says, I want your whole story. He says, I want a whole decision. I want you to come after me wholly. You, you, you know enough, hallelujah, that if you get in trouble, you know how to pray and, 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 and get some relief. But God says, I don't want, hallelujah, the relief to be something that just happens occasionally. He says, there is a mantle over your life, glory to God, that you need to walk in it continuously. And you will walk continuously in the increase and the overflow of God. If this mantle is so strong on your life, it's going to begin to permeate through your family and through your children. But God wants a complete and a total yes from him in your life. And he says, if you give me this yes, he says 2019 is going to shift your life in such a way you will never go back to the same of Jesus. to change you into a whole new 
different things. He says, and your surroundings are going to change to match your destiny. He says, 2019 is going to be a different year for you. He says, now, is this going to be hard or easy? It only depends on one word, yes. Hallelujah. Your yes to God will make it easy. He's going to take care of everything. He's going to supply all of your needs. You ain't hear what I'm saying. He's going to supply all of your needs. Hallelujah. And that house that you want is yours. Hallelujah. Gloria, it is yours. He says, as a son, I'm going to do it. He says, I'm going to do it in a way. Hallelujah. That you're going to know it was not you, but it was me that did it. And when you get it, praise God, that is a sign that you need to begin to move into the thing that God has already placed in your heart. Come on, give God the glory. I know y'all think Pastor Scott is crazy, but the truth of the matter is, if some of this stuff don't happen, if it don't come to pass, then that makes me a false prophet, right? But how many of y'all have been receiving words of prophecy that you've been seeing come to pass in your life? You see God do it. You can't deny that. I can't deny it. Hallelujah. It ain't about me. It's about God. This ain't my church. This is God's church. So, this is what I see God doing in your life. You feel like, get down. You feel like you way down there. That's, that's what you feel like. You have, you feel like you're down there. But God says, what I'm doing, but systematically, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. I'm, doing this. I'm taking you higher. I'm taking the highest. That's hallelujah. There's a wave of glory that's about to hit your life. It ain't gonna even make no sense. He says, and I've been conditioning you. I've been conditioning you to be able to carry the weight of glory that I'm going to you. Hey, Hako, you shut down. Yes, man of God, you ain't seen nothing yet. You shut up on my house here. You ain't seen nothing, nothing yet. Watch what I do. Watch what I do. Watch what I do. Watch what I do, Sharifa. Watch, watch, watch. Watch. Your personal life is going to be a testimony of God's faithfulness in your life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God is going to use you not only to bring comfort, but healing and deliverance in the lives of men. And he's not only going to bless you spiritually, but even naturally in your life. So stuff is about to get kick-started. Hallelujah, in your life. I know you felt like it wasn't time. I know you felt like you didn't have enough. But God says you have enough because it's not going to be you that's doing it. He says, it is me. He says, have I not been faithful? Have I not carried you like the wings of an eagle? Have I not blessed you? Even in your hurting place, I was your strong power. I was your bulwark. He said, watch what I do in your life. And shut up. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Tell him yes, Lord. Tell him yes. Tell him yes, Lord. Tell him yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 
more than what you give yourself credit for, God gave that to you. And he says, this is the year that I'm going to strengthen the prophetic in your life. You're going to not only see dreams, but you're going to begin to see visions. Hallelujah. And God's going to help you pinpoint exactly where troubles are. You're going to be able to give a precise word. In other words, nobody's going to have to interpret what you're saying. It's going to be a precise word. There is a glory. The move that you made was a God move. Because it told my fear because the witch was trying to stifle the anointing of God in your life. He said, but this season you will see my hand stretch out in your life. Hallelujah. And God said, I will give the glory. I will give the glory. I will get the glory. Hallelujah. I'm telling y'all, it's crazy. I will get the glory. 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 Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. Glory. You may not know this, but there's a group following you. You may not know this, but there's a group following you. They've been silent, but they've been watching. They've been quiet, but they've been watching. Hallelujah, because you're getting in the place where God has called you. You're going to see them manifest their self in your life. And you'll realize that the move that I made was not just for me, but it was for those that really needed the deliverance in God. Hallelujah. In other words, the cycles of dysfunction are being broken, even in your family line, even in your family tree, even amongst your siblings. God is about to draw them into another level. Oh, y'all ain't hearing what I'm saying. God is about to demolish some things, some curses that have followed the line for a long time. God is about to break it, hallelujah. And it will not be in your family line because God is breaking it, hallelujah. God is calling those, hallelujah, that don't even have anything about God on their mind. After a while, they're going to begin to call you, hallelujah. And you're going to direct them what to do. Watch what God does. Y'all. That you pray for that individual, you're going to see it manifest itself because God is doing it. When we try to do it, we mess it up. But when God does it, it's well done. Watch what I say. I feel God in this house. God is in this house. Come on, give him glory. Come on and give him glory. Come on and give him the glory. Come on and give him the glory. Give him God the glory. Give God the glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 Preacher. Preacher. Another level of glory. Another level of glory. Folks are going to be delivered by the words that come out of your mouth. Hallelujah. Even family members are going to be delivered. Hallelujah. See, you have family members looking for a relationship with religion. And that's what have kept some people from coming close to God because, you know, religion has done it. And, well, this is the way it ought to be, and I'm not ready for that, so I'm just not going. Hallelujah. But God is breaking down, hallelujah, the cycle of religion in their life. Hallelujah. And you're going to lead them, hallelujah. Glory to God. You're going to lead them into a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. See Sometimes people look at one individual, and that one is not really producing deliverance in their life. That one is just trying to point them to what they know and understand. But see, what you have done, you have tapped into a another realm, another level of God that go past all of this elementary, rudimentary stuff that folk are stuck on. And what you have is what they need. And they've been watching you for a minute. They've been watching you, wanting what you have, wanting, pray to love. But this year, the water's about to break. This year, he's going to answer your prayer. This year, he's going to answer your mama's prayer. Hallelujah. This year, hallelujah. This year, 
You hear what I'm telling you? This year, you're walking into it. Glory to God. So don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. How you had to do what you did. Hallelujah. Because God had you on a path. Now watch what he does in your life. Come on, give God the glory. Hallelujah. Glory to the world. The Lord has come. Let her receive her king. Oh, let every heart prepare him room. And heaven in nature sing. Let heaven in nature sing. Let heaven
you feel them jaw bells ringing, I want you to go ahead and get, get your offering and get it down.
and then praise the Lord on Sunday. Praise the Lord. Service will begin here at 11. Thursday night preacher will be Apostle John Bennett from Church of the Apostolic Revival. I'm excited. Friday night will be Apostle Davon Carr. Praise God from Greater Yeshua Temple in Wallace. Amen. Saturday we will have at 5 p.m. Superintendent Braxton D. Bowser Sr. And then on Sunday you'll have this uh, little boy from uh, Raleigh. Amen. By the name of Pastor Marcus Scott, he'll be closing it out in Jesus' name. Joy Fest is going to be a blessing to your soul. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Bring a friend. Bring a neighbor. In Jesus' mighty name. These are your announcements. Govern yourself accordingly. Amen. In Jesus. Also, those of you that have uh, made a pledge, amen, to support uh, these services, praise the Lord, that we talked about doing, please, praise the Lord, don't forget to see Sister Shalika uh, with your pledge, praise the Lord, so that it can be added to the count. In Jesus' name, we have, I believe, until the third, I'm sorry, praise the Lord, until watch night. Uh, to make sure that all of those uh, monies are in, praise the Lord, so that we can uh, adequately do, praise the Lord, what we have said that we will do. So please, sir, please, ma'am, let's get that business straight. Amen? Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Amen. We've come to the part where I can particularly enjoy because I know that the Lord has something good to say. Yes. Amen. And the elders like, really, Pastor, you know? <laughs> well, see, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it in his hands. And whatever he decides to do at the leading of God, that's going to be on him. And see, how, see how I can get out of it? Thank you, Lord. I, really, I, I love you guys. If you will rest to your feet as we present, amen, the servant of God, amen, our very fine assistant pastor, amen, a man of God, Elder Michael. Tyrone Lewis. Amen. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. Man, I realize ain't much I can say. <laughs> amen. The spirit doesn't move. God's word has failed. It ain't much I can say. But what I can do is just confirm. Because all, all during the week, he kept coming to me. If these were us, my God, God the rocks would cry. I mean, he kept coming. I'm like, okay, go into the kitchen. If these were us, the rock. <laughs> go around. I keep doing my day to day, doing whatever, my work. If these were us, the rock. No, what you say? So, I said, I might need to look into that. So, you need to look into it and, and look at the service today. Giving God what God is due. Don't need nobody to praise God for me. I can praise God out of my own accord. Amen. And it's so amazing. That when you decide to give God the praise, when you decide that you're going to put all your troubles and all your issues aside, and you're going to give God the sacrifice of praise, you can seize the moment of your destiny. Your destiny is in God. You unlock it through praise. Serve your hand up. You said you unlock it through praise. Did anybody feel some stuff unlocked today? Don't come play with it. Anybody felt some stuff unlocked? over your life that you're getting ready to walk into the new I tell you to cut the mind and say new 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 my praise just unlock the new of God in my life Hallelujah 
reason that God told you to step out and get your house. And for whatever reason it was, maybe you weren't on one accord, maybe you weren't doing everything like you should be doing, but you could not do it. And therefore, the enemy allowed, God allowed the enemy to bring you into a situation, not telling you business, of what you may be going through right now. But God said, you are under an open heaven. Yes. And even though you may be in a situation that looks crazy, prove me, said the Lord. You are a tiger. Go get your house.
every one of you that tried something in 2018 and got a note, go back again. You are under an open heaven. I can't explain. In fact, it ain't for me to explain. It's just for me to tell you what to do. If you want a testimony, go try God. That's all it does. If you want a testimony, now all you that, you know, conservative and, you know, you just go, you sit there. Yes. But don't get mad. When folks come running around the floor, holding up keys to new vehicles, to new cars, new businesses. How the hell she cut over the it's going to be an East Coast, West Coast business. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. You're going to have to set your time. Because if not, you won't be here on Sundays. And I need my security man here on Sundays. It's going to be an East Coast, West Coast thing. On the West Coast that's looking to hook up with somebody like you that got a business plan like you guys. I see consolidation. This is crazy. I feel crazy. to be a man of God. 
Because if he's not a man of God, he's not going to be able to handle what God is going to be putting in your life. Do not lower your standard to get somebody to keep from being alone. The devil is a liar. God is pairing you with someone that you can rule and have an empire with that will match you in wisdom and strength. Y'all ain't hear what I'm saying. Watch what God does. It was time to leave Duplin County. And I'm going to tell you what. The devil don't like it. You gone, don't go back. Y'all think I'm crazy? 
Hallelujah. But I'm crazy for Jesus. Too much fur behind you. You have a legacy of people that have served the Lord in your life. And it's going to hit you. And when it hits you, it's going to hit you real hard. Because you're going to do what the Lord has told you to do. I told you. Y'all, I'm, I'm somewhere out there serving. Y'all know I'm trying to bring this thing back to, back to the port. Yes. Ears from the herd. Yes. It ain't baby it. <laughs> the thing that God got to say, you can't even conceive what he's gonna do for you. Hallelujah. Those things are walking. Yeah, I'm talking walking. Mm -hmm. okay. God, God knows what you're I gotta let y'all know that I'm I'm feeling good and I, I think I done got past tipsy. And and I just, I think I'm crossing into inebriation. <laughs> and y'all don't want me to drink. <laughs> so I'm going to go home and sip on my own wine. <laughs> and chicken gravy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody stand for the last time. I promise you. I'm going to let you go. I thank God for an awesome assistant pastor. Yeah. He knows how to flow with the anointing. He is not a jealous man. He is not a man that insists on having his way. And that's the reason why God will elevate him. Because he is such a man. I thank God for you. I thank God for you and your God did this. God did this. So can't understand it, but we were sitting here arguing and busting and fighting and trying to grab power. Hands lifted all over the building. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for your glory. Thank you for this service today. Lord, it wasn't just a service, it was an infusing us. An invasion of your presence. Yes. Yes. Thank you for coming to earth to save us from our sins. Yes. And as we get ready to go into this holiday season, we pray for divine protection and safety. And as we move into the new year, continue to give us clarity the directions that you have us to go in. We thank you for every praise that has been set up in this house. Yes. Every prophetic word uttered. Yes. Every tear that has been shed. Yes. Father, we pray today that you will dismiss us from this building but not from your holy presence. Remember Sister Tabitha today yes. and her husband yes. Yes. continue to perform yes. that what you said you were going to do. Yes. Lord, we thank you. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. In Jesus' name. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and abide henceforth, now and forever. In Jesus' name.